My name is Max Feinstein and I'm an anesthesia resident at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. And in this video, I have co-opted Dr. Schlossberg to lend me his right arm to show you how I tie a tourniquet. If you find this video interesting or helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to the channel. Let's dive in. Placing a tourniquet can be used either for doing blood draws or more commonly for me, placing an IV catheter. So the only thing that you need for the tourniquet placement itself is a pair of gloves and of course your tourniquet. If you will be placing an IV or doing a blood draw, then of course you'll need all relevant equipment for that. Tourniquets come in many shapes and sizes. This is what a standard rubber tourniquet looks like. Placing a tourniquet is actually a lot more nuanced than one might think. For one, you have to consider patient comfort. This is going to be tight, but you also want to make sure that the patient has any body hair that you don't get that entrapped in the tourniquet. You also need to make sure that it's tight enough that you cause significant venous pooling in the patient's extremity so that you can actually get blood return in your catheter. And you also want to make sure that the tourniquet itself does not get in the way of the equipment that you're using, particularly the needle as it goes into the patient's skin. And you want to make sure that it's easy to release the tourniquet so that you can have a free hand available to manipulate other equipment as you're finishing up your IV placement or blood draw. With those goals in mind, the way that I start is by just placing the rubber band under the patient's arm. And in this case, we'll be placing the tourniquet on the upper arm. And so you can see that it runs just behind his arm like this. With the tourniquet behind the patient's arm, I go ahead and reach across with my left hand and make this the back side of the tourniquet. And I secure it in my left hand with my fourth and fifth digit, just like this. That allows me to use the other strap and place it in between my thumb and my index finger using just my left hand. That allows me to keep my right hand free to manipulate equipment and also to adjust the tourniquet. You can see that it's very easy for me to tighten the tourniquet by pulling on the end that is closest to me. I simply pull up like this and then I can maintain that tightness using my thumb and index finger on my left hand. Once I've gotten to the desired level of tightness, I can go ahead and tuck this end underneath this loop here using my right hand and that maintains the level of tightness. I also want you to appreciate that that keeps both ends facing away from the area where I intend to do my venipuncture. I also want to point out that this strategy allows me to make a tourniquet as tight as I need to while maintaining space in between the tourniquet and the patient's arm so that body hair is not pulled tight which can be very uncomfortable for patients. This particular strategy is very nice for a quick release. All that I need to do is pull a little bit on this end and the entire tourniquet undoes itself. This is what the whole process looks like start to finish. And now I'm ready to perform my IV placement or my blood draw. I'd highly recommend as you're learning this technique to practice it a number of times because it takes a lot of repetitions in order to get it without thinking about it too much. Here's what the entire process looks like slowed down so that you can practice it.
If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out this video where I go through all of the basic medications that are used as part of a general anesthetic. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.